안녕하세요. 오늘은 우리가 되게 특별한 게스트가 있습니다. 불철입니다. 모두 다큰 박수 쳐주세요. 우와! 우와! 사랑해요 오빠. 그럼 불철님은 아이스크림가 좋아하세요? 네. 그러면 제가 이거 줄게요. 애교 좀 해주세요. What you just saw in the skit was a display of a certain behavior in Korean culture called Egyo. Egyo is essentially exaggerated, infantilized behavior and can be performed by both men and women, but it is more commonly done by women. However, male and female Egyo is received differently in Korean society. It is normal and expected of women, but not of men. In this essay, we will argue that male K-pop idols can receive positive appraisal and advantage through the performance of Egyo. After the Asian financial crisis, women became more financially independent and also had more to say in choosing their partners. Through this empowerment, Korean women began to want a man who is more of a loving partner than career focused. This led to the formation of a new ideal man whose image is less threatening and more feminine. This image became known as the Gunminam, meaning beautiful flower boy, which is characterized by softer jaws, double eyelids, prominent noses, defined pectoral and bicep muscles, and an overall smooth and hairless body. These feminine characteristics are not only regarded as physically attractive to women, but they're also considered a manifestation of upper-class masculinity that emphasizes one's social and professional respect. South Koreans are strongly affected by media messages and peer perceptions. In both music and film, the Gunminam is a symbol of a man who can love and protect his partner, and K-dramas of the Gunminam genre are very popular amongst young Korean women. As a result, it is likely that their body images are informed by media and reinforced through interactions that value thinness and high socioeconomic status in men. Therefore, men can use Egyo to demonstrate their softer traits to appeal to women. It is acceptable for male idols to perform Egyo because the audience understands such behavior is transient due to their versatile masculinity. Versatile masculinity allows male K-pop idols to switch their masculinity to match the type of music. For example, for a soft song, they dress in soft-colored clothes and dance to cute choreography to emphasize their youthful innocence. In contrast, for a hard song, they apply hip-hop aesthetics like ripped jeans and muscular shirtless bodies. Not only does versatile masculinity allow for them to please more female fans by embodying various forms of ideal masculinity, it allows for them to perform Egyo because it is understood that this act is just as transient. The member Shonu from Monsta X is known for being tall and muscular, but when requested to perform Egyo on a variety show, he portrays a cute, natural version that receives a positive response from a host who wants to reward him for his efforts with food. Since male K-pop idols hold versatile masculinity, performing Egyo can then be seen as similar to the soft masculinity embodied when performing soft songs and acts. Not only is it understood and appreciated as a version of fleeting masculinity, but it could also please new potential groups of fans. <laughs> It is also advantageous for male idols to perform Egyo because a larger audience can find entertainment in their Egyo in contrast to female Egyo due to its humor aspect. The performance of Egyo is usually done by young girls, but with male idols, this can typically be comedic due to the humor from emasculation. 
Female idols performing Hagyo can also be funny, but the impact is usually not as strong since it's expected of them. The audience has become accustomed to female Hagyo and the idols themselves perform it to the point where it becomes habitual behavior, leading to overdone versions of Hagyo. In this clip, the host from Weekly Idol makes fun of IOI member Sohye for her poor attempt that did not adhere to the standard of female Egyo. An example of the contrast between men who find Egyo uncomfortable and men who find humor in another man performing Egyo can be shown in this clip. Sung Hoon from the group Winner reluctantly performs Egyo against his will and is met with a dismissive reaction. Another member from the group, Minho, demonstrates a more reasonable version, earning the hosts praise for their willingness to perform Egyo as a boy group. As another example, the famous Ne Maum Soge Chojang signature phrase paired with the pose was first used by 101's member Ji Hoon and has gone on to become a standard demonstration of Egyo performed by many different K-pop idols. In this clip, Cosmic Girls also known as WJSN, member Taeyong feels irritated by the exaggerated display of Egyo from Kubudan member Mina and expresses her discontentment through physical means. On the other hand, the male idol Samuel performs Egyo shyly and in turn receives the adoration of the female idols and audience. Even one of the hosts praises his performance as an achievement for an alternate form of masculinity. This can mean that the performance of Egyo done by male idols can be turned to not only comedy, but also an act of bravery, which can be enjoined beyond gender barriers. In conclusion, the use of Egyo by male K-pop idols can be beneficial for the idols and acceptable in Korean society. This is because of the transience and versatile masculinity, preference of features in Korean men, and its comedic value that broadens the receiving audience.